Welcome back. Well, I wasn't joking about that messy weather that is expected to sweep through the region again. Looking at that potential for some snow, even a bit of rain in the forecast as we head through the week. But temperatures are going to remain relatively mild. Right now, already starting to see some of those bands of flurries up in some of those northern sections of the region. Now, that will last throughout the day into the evening. And then overnight tonight, we are going to start to see some of that snow pushing in to those southern sections of the region. Now, all of that messy weather is likely to last through Tuesday. We are seeing that potential for that snow switching to some sleet as we head further on into Tuesday afternoon because those temperatures will be above zero, changing back to snow as we head overnight. Now, we continue to see all of that precipitation through tomorrow into Wednesday. By Thursday, though, we are looking at some sunshine back in the forecast. Temperatures are also expected to be very mild as we head through the weekend. Plenty of sunshine there as well. Taking a look at afternoon conditions in Sudbury, 2 degrees is the daytime high. The same goes for Sault Ste. Marie. Should be around 5 degrees for this time of year, so we are sitting below that seasonal mark. Looking at a 60% chance of flurries in Timmins. Slight chance for some snow in Timiskaming Shores, and it's mainly sunny skies in North Bay today with a daytime high of 1 degree. Over to Moosonee, minus 1 there. 1 degree in Capus Casinghurst as well as in Walla, where we're seeing quite a bit of cloud cover and a 30% chance of flurries. Mainly sunny skies, though, for Gore Bay, and a chilly 0 degrees is the high for... Welcome back. Well, it was a beautiful day yesterday, and it's another beautiful day today. But get out, enjoy that sunshine, because soon we're going to need those umbrellas. We're looking at a rather large weather system sweeping through the northeast. And yes, that is some snow in the forecast. Let's take a closer look at that right now, where, as I mentioned, clear skies at this hour. But that will change as we head into the evening. Looking at a bit of rain pushing in through superior east areas around Wawa into Chapleau. That rain is going to hit areas like Manitoulin Island as we head into the midnight hours. Now, by tomorrow morning, we are looking at the development of a bit of snow as well as some sleet around areas like Chapleau. That snow sticking predominantly to those northern sections of our region into areas like Timmins, Cochrane, even around Kirkland Lake. Looking at some pretty heavy rainfall for those southern sections of the region, though again, looking at anywhere from 30 to 50 millimeters accumulated between Thursday afternoon into the evening hours. We continue to see that rain well into Thursday night, as well as a bit of that snow up in those northern sections. Snow moving into Moosonee, as well as around Attawapiskat, as we head into early Friday morning, where some pockets of rain continue to linger in those southern sections of our region. But by Friday afternoon, we are seeing the potential for some sunshine in the forecast. Even more sunshine is expected as we head into the weekend when temperatures return to seasonal. Now, over the next couple of days, it is going to be rather chilly, not like today or yesterday. This afternoon, 13 degrees is the high in Sudbury, 12 in Sault Ste. Marie, as well as in Timmins, 12 degrees as well, and mainly sunny in Temiskaming Shores, and 13 degrees is the high this afternoon in North Bay. Over to Moosonee, 13 there as well, 12 in Capus Casinghurst, as well as in Wawa and Gorb. In the case for communities around Sault Ste. Marie, seeing a little bit of snowfall there, but that sun will be sticking around for at least one more day before more precipitation moves back into the region right now. As I mentioned earlier, seeing some snowfall around Sault Ste. Marie, around 5 to 10 centimeters expected to fall this afternoon. Also continuing to see some snow around the Timmins area. Now, all of that precipitation will begin to taper off later on this evening into those midnight hours and tomorrow. We are going to see some more sunshine in the forecast. Now, that being said, flurries are expected to move into those those northern sections of the region by Thursday afternoon, affecting areas around Capus Casing as well as around Hearst, pushing through areas like Timmins into Cochrane as well as around that Moosonee area. Now that snow will be sticking around for the duration of Thursday and potentially even into Friday when we start to see some showers pushing into Sault Ste. Marie by Friday afternoon as well. It does look like it will be another wet day and a wet weekend. Taking a look now at the afternoon conditions. Three degrees is the daytime high in Sudbury. Very cool in Sault Ste. Marie. Only one degree. Zero in Timmins. Expecting around two centimeters of snow. One in Temiskaming Shores. And three in North Bay with a 60% chance of some flurries. To Moosonee now, minus two. There is the daytime high. Expecting around two to four centimeters of snow today. Around two centimeters expected in Capus Casinghurst. One in Wawa. Three degrees in Gore Bay. And six degrees in Perry Sound this afternoon.
also seeing some sunshine today, but we will be losing that sun behind that cloud cover and a bit of snowfall expected across the northeast as we head into the next couple of days. The good news, we aren't seeing much in terms of that snow right now. Only a centimeter or so around areas like Elliott Lake, Chaplow, as well as in Sudbury. There is also the chance for some freezing rain, so that could make roads very slippery if you are planning on traveling tomorrow during the day, especially at night. But all of that freezing rain will begin to taper off with a threat for freezing rain anyway as we head into Thursday. We are also seeing some fog patches developing overnight tonight and that could impair that driving so just be care careful on those roads. Taking a look at our forecast radar right now. Not much action. We are continuing to see a few spots of some snow as well as some sleet and rain expected by tomorrow. Lots of cloud cover as we head through the day on Wednesday and into Thursday as well as Friday. But we are going to continue to feel those nice and mild temperatures as we inch towards the weekend. Let's take a look at this afternoon now. Minus 5 is the high in Sudbury, minus 1 in Sault Ste. Marie. We are seeing those mostly cloudy skies across the board today and not too bad in terms of wind chill for areas like Sudbury and Sault Ste. Marie, but Timmins minus 7, feeling more like minus 16. And again, that wind chill playing a factor into Miskaming Shores, minus 7, feeling like minus 12. Again, looking at those mostly cloudy skies for North Bay this afternoon. Heading over to Moosonee now, minus 7 there. We are looking at a slight chance for some flurries. Again, mostly cloudy in Capus Casing Hurst. We are seeing that risk for some freezing drizzle in Wawa this afternoon. Looking at a bit of sunshine there as well. Minus 1 is the high in Gore Bay and minus 3 in Perry Sound. Again, looking at those mostly cloudy skies for the afternoon. In the case for communities around Sault Ste. Marie, seeing a little bit of snowfall there, but that sun will be sticking around for at least one more day before more precipitation moves back into the region right now. As I mentioned earlier, seeing some snowfall around Sault Ste. Marie, around 5 to 10 centimeters expected to fall this afternoon. Also continuing to see some snow around the Timmins area. Now, all of that precipitation will begin to taper off later on this evening into those midnight hours and tomorrow. We are going to see some more sunshine in the forecast. Now, that being said, flurries are expected to move into those northern sections of the region by Thursday afternoon, affecting areas around Capus Casing as well as around Hearst, pushing through areas like Timmins into Cochrane as well as around that Moosonee area. Now that snow will be sticking around for the duration of Thursday and potentially even into Friday when we start to see some showers pushing into Sault Ste. Marie by Friday afternoon as well. It does look like it will be another wet day and a wet weekend. Taking a look now at the afternoon conditions. Three degrees is the daytime high in Sudbury. Very cool in Sault Ste. Marie. Only one degree. Zero in Timmins. Expecting around two centimeters of snow. One in Temiskaming Shores. And three in North Bay with a 60% chance of some flurries. To Moosonee now, minus two there is the daytime high, expecting around two to four centimeters of snow today. Around two centimeters expected in Capus Casinghurst, one in Wawa, three degrees in Gore Bay, and six degrees in Perry Sound this afternoon. And taking a closer look at that forecast radar right now where we continue to see those relatively clear skies across most of northeastern Ontario. But we are seeing some cloud cover as well as some light showers in areas like Moosonee as well as around Attawapiskat. Now as we head into those midnight hours tonight, we will start to see some rain pushing in from the south, affecting communities around Gore Bay as well as around Sault Ste. Marie. And that will continue to push up into northeastern Ontario around Wawa, Shaplow, even into Sudbury. Sudbury, Elliott Lake, and Espanola by Saturday afternoon. Also continuing to see some mostly cloudy skies across most of the region, and that will carry out for most of Saturday. We are seeing some of that heavy rainfall, particularly around that Superior East area pushing up into Wawa and Chaplow by that dinner time hour on Saturday. Things are going to clear out overnight and by Sunday afternoon and into the early morning hours. We are seeing some of that, those clear skies, but by around noon, we are going to see some rain pushing again from the south. Now, that is going to affect communities around Gore Bay, Perry Sound, potentially into Sudbury, as well as North Bay, and even up into Temiskaming Shores. Temperature-wise, though, things are going to continue to remain very mild out there. 30 degrees right now in Sudbury, 27 in Sault Ste. Marie, 30 degrees and mainly sunny in Timmins and Temiskaming Shores, seeing a couple clouds there, 30 degrees. 30 in Perry Sound with, or North Bay, excuse me, with partly sunny skies. 28 degrees in Moosonee right now, 30 in Capus Casinghurst, looking at a chance for some showers in Wawa, 24 degrees there, just a slight chance of some rain in Gore Bay as well, and 30 degrees is the afternoon high.
And taking a closer look at that forecast radar right now, where we continue to see those relatively clear skies across most of northeastern Ontario. But we are seeing some cloud cover as well as some light showers in areas like Moosonee as well as around Attawapiskat. Now, as we head into those midnight hours tonight, we will start to see some rain pushing in from the south, affecting communities around Gore Bay as well as around Sault Ste. Marie. And that will continue to push up into northeastern Ontario around Wawa, Shaplow, even into Sudbury. Elliott Lake and Espanola by Saturday afternoon. Also continuing to see some mostly cloudy skies across most of the region and that will carry out for most of Saturday. We are seeing some of that heavy rainfall particularly around that Superior East area pushing up into Wawa and Chaplow by that dinner time hour on Saturday. Things are going to clear out overnight and by Sunday afternoon and into the early morning hours. We are seeing some of that, those clear skies but by around noon, we are going to see some rain pushing again from the south. Now, that is going to affect communities around Gore Bay, Perry Sound, potentially into Sudbury, as well as North Bay, and even up into Temiskaming Shores. Temperature-wise, though, things are going to continue to remain very mild out there. 30 degrees right now in Sudbury, 27 in Sault Ste. Marie, 30 degrees and mainly sunny in Timmins and Temiskaming Shores, seeing a couple clouds there, 30 degrees. 30 in Perry Sound with, or North Bay, excuse me, with partly sunny skies. 28 degrees in Moosonee right now, 30 in Capus Casinghurst, looking at a chance for some showers in Wawa, 24 degrees there. Just a slight chance of some rain in Gorbea as well, and 30 degrees is the afternoon high right now, seeing that heavy cloud cover across much of the region, seeing some heavy rain, particularly up around those northern sections of the region. Now, most of those showers will be sticking to areas like Perry Sound as well as around that Moosonee area. Now we will also see a 30 to 40 percent chance that we could see some showers around areas like Sudbury, Temiskaming Shores and Timmins as we head further on into Monday night. As we head into Tuesday though, we are seeing some more of those showers moving in around that Superior East area. Now that heavy rainfall will continue to push through the region as we head into those later morning hours sweeping through the Northeast. And while we will see some clearer skies, some drier skies as we head into Tuesday, afternoon. Cloud cover will continue to hang around and more rain will likely push in by Tuesday evening. Now again, we are seeing some of that heavier rainfall that those areas in the red, yellow and orange are certainly going to be bringing some downpours through Sault Ste. Marie, moving into Sudbury, potentially hitting areas like North Bay as well as Temiskaming Shores by Tuesday night. Now while a lot of that rain will begin to taper off, the chance for showers will continue into Wednesday afternoon with that cloud cover and that rain beginning to taper off later on in Wednesday. By Thursday and Friday, it does look like sunshine will be back in the forecast. Taking a look now at the afternoon conditions, while we are seeing that chance for some rain, temperatures are very muggy out there. 23 feeling like 32 with that humid X in Sudbury, 23 as well in Sault Ste. Marie with a 30% chance of showers, 70% chance of showers in Timmins, 23 mostly cloudy skies in Temiskaming Shores, and 23 degrees with the risk of some thunderstorm activity this afternoon in North Bay feeling like 31. Over to Moosonee, now thunderstorms, 70% chance of showers, 20 degrees in Moosonee, 24 in Capus Casinghurst, 20 in Wawa feeling like 28, 23 in Gore Bay, and 26 in Perry Sound feeling like 34 with that humidity. Now to the south.